From the museum to the racetrack, ahead of Sunday's NASCAR Cup Series race from Atlanta Motor Speedway, Hall of Fame car owner Richard Childress helped give his former driver Kevin Harvick a special career send-off. All the way back in 2001, Harvick drove this exact number 29 white GM Goodrench Chevrolet to his first career Cup Series victory in Atlanta, only three weeks after Dale Earnhardt's death thrust Harvick into this ride. This car has been on display in the Richard Childress Racing Museum in Welcome ever since, but was brought back to the Speedway to run parade laps alongside Kevin Harvick before his final race here. Childress even gave the command to fire engines while sitting in this car. Harvick and others were eager to see this piece of NASCAR history up close and personal once again. I did speak with him. He came by my motorhome and, and we spoke about it uh, for, for a little bit. So he's he's really excited. And I, I can't believe that he actually pulled the car out of the museum and, and put his putting it on the racetrack. But it's a big deal to both of us. And, and you know, I think for for both of us to be able to, to celebrate that together at the same racetrack and, and um, you know, for me personally to see his enthusiasm about it means a lot. And um, really going through uh, the, the weekend and seeing the car and, and seeing. Uh, the car leave the, the field of the green is, is going to be pretty cool. Yeah, it's very cool. My dad said he's more nervous about the 29 car going around the track this weekend than our cup car. So he wants to make sure that that car makes his laps and then uh, he'll be relaxed for the rest of the race because it's uh, our whole shop has dug in on that car and, and put a lot of work to get it running. A team member said this undertaking was quite indeed an all hands on deck effort and they kept this living piece of NASCAR history 100% original for one final ride around Atlanta Motor Speedway.